party. And I'm going to read a statement on behalf of His Excellency, President-elect Adam Barrow, on certain urgent matters that require the understanding of Gambians and the international community. Two days ago, the APRC announced on GRTS its intention to file a process in court to challenge the result of the December 1st presidential elections. In that statement, the APRC stated that the previous statement by outgoing Jamne, President Jamne, was a prelude to the proposed court action. His Excellency President-elect Barrow and the coalition hereby unequivocally reject the implied notion that President, outgoing President Yaya Jame misspoke or made a mistake in his statement. Wow. President Jame's intentions were crystal clear. There was no ambiguity in what he said. He rejected the results of the elections and declared them null and void. He also announced that new elections would be held under the auspices of a new IEC, Independent Electoral Commission. We therefore dismiss the attempt to legitimize the illegal actions of the outgoing president and even the idea that his actions are capable of being legitimized. Any petition or process filed in court will be a further demonstration that the outgoing president and his party have no respect or regard for the Gambian people, are bent on ignoring their aspirations and undermining the transition process. The Gambian people should know that there is no Supreme Court at this point in the Gambia and that there has not been one for a whole year, for over a year. That is to say, the Supreme Court of the Gambia has not been constituted for over one year since outgoing President Jame dismissed Justices Jibujane and Justice Raymond Sok. That was the last time the Supreme Court of the Gambia ever sat. And so therefore, it did not have sufficient judges to be constituted. For over one year, there has been no, no, no Supreme Court in the Gambia. We do not recognize that the outgoing president has the constitutional authority in the last days of his presidency to appoint any Supreme Court judge in the Gambia and swear them in for the purpose of receiving his petition. In other words, it is our view, our firm conviction, that the outgoing President Jamme has no constitutional authority to appoint new Supreme Court justices because there are no judges in the Gambia in the Supreme Court, in the Supreme Court today, for him to appoint new judges of the Supreme Court and swear them in officially because they have to take their oath of office. They have to swear it on oath so that they can receive his petition and make a determination and an election that has already been concluded. And we are also aware that of the judges that were allegedly appointed and not yet confirmed. Five of them are from Nigeria, and one Sierra Leonean is include, included among them. And all of these judges, we have no imputation to the country, but everybody understands the judicial system of this country, what used to be, and that is no more. We reiterate the call of the international community, in particular, the United Nations Security Council ECOWAS and the African Union, and demanded outgoing President Jami immediately step down and hand over power. We also call on the APRC to prevail on their Secretary General, the outgoing President Jami, to respect the outcome of the election and to refrain from any futile attempt to further subvert the Gambian people's yearning for a true democracy. The APRC was also immediately stopped inciting ethnic division 
and spreading false rumors about non-existence, partisan, and tribal violence. The Gambia police force has not reported to the coalition a single incident, a single incident of an attack on any member of the APRC. Not a single incident was ever reported by the Gambia police force in any part of the Gambia regarding any attack on any member of the APRC on the basis that they are partisan supporters of the APRC. Not at any point in time was a single report filed or presented by the entire Gambia police force. The APRC is being urged to stop spreading false rumors with the attempt to incite, to inflagrate ethnic tension in our country. His Excellency President Elect Baro would like to reiterate emphatically that he is the appointed, he is the elected president of this, this country. And he is a president for all Gambians, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of religious background or gender. Whether you voted for him or not, he is the president elect for all Gambians. And he will do everything in his power and capacity and authority to make sure that the welfare of every Gambian, regardless of your political inclination, be granted the welfare that you need. President-elect Barrow reiterated clearly that campaigning is over and this is the time for national construction. And he urged every Gambian to come on board. Wherever your political inclination is, your contribution is considered fundamental. Thank you.